Hello and welcome to Louis Bertou's Music Reviews. Today I'm wearing a shirt. Today I'm wearing a shirt. Eliane Radig is a composer, sound artist, drone, minimalist um, musician who I greatly admire, who's written a quite a fair bit of music actually, but I've only really checked out this one album here called Trilogy de Mort, which I believe is her most famous album, so go figure. Um, what can I say, I'm just quite mainstream in my music tastes. And yeah, to preface this review, um, Trilogy de Mort is essentially three CDs of drone. So yeah, you thought um, Aphex Twins Selected Ambient Works Volume 2 was intense, with its two hour runtime and two discs of ambient music. Well, this is three discs, and it's there's less beats, I'll put it that way. <laughs> I believe the way Eliane Radig composed these pieces was essentially she had a tape loop that, was, that kept running and running and running, and then she has all these... Um, dials and knobs and filters etc uh, that she's very gradually changing over the course of a say a 50 minute piece so really what she's basically doing is writing a 50 minute piece of music in 50 minutes so it's, it's live she just lets it play out sees what happens that kind of thing it's all improvised i believe i haven't done a great deal of research in, into radig's technique but I, i'm pretty sure that's how she does it i can't really imagine this music being created in any other way because it is so it just does have an air of spontaneity about it um, that, that, that might might not be able to be created had she, had she planned out every single sound she was going to use. She's, she's quite a bit like a, a DJ, actually, when you, when you think about it. Like, uh, but instead of discs, she's um, flitting between different tape loops. Um, yeah, abstract analogy there, but I think it's, I think it's pertinent. And yeah, other minimalist composers, say, for example, Lamonte Young or Morton Feldman, these these composers deal more in still lives, still lives. So 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 a piece is kind of it begins as it means to go on, and it sort of continues in the same kind of vein, and ends uh, much like it started, much like a still life. Whereas I think Eliane Radig's brand of minimalism is is more like a journey. But it's it's a journey. It's a journey across the universe. But you don't notice yourself moving because it's so slow. It's slowed down to the point where you might be fooled into thinking that you're not moving at all. But in fact, you've actually covered quite a fair bit of ground. That's what I think of when I think of uh, of her minimalism and her sort of approach to composing music, which is on first listen static. It doesn't appear to move. But then when you actually break it down, there's there's plenty of sections within these pieces that. Um, and there's very different sounds that she's using, say, from the beginning of a piece and the middle of a piece to, yeah, it changes a lot is what I'm trying to say, even though it might not feel like it. Um, and yeah, I was definitely sceptical at first of this album. I kind of, uh, I saw it as, yeah, intimidating. I saw it as needlessly long, needlessly artistic and kind of... Um, <clears throat> just not really music, um, more like an experiment. And then... I, I did come round on it, and it was actually a specific review um, from this reviewer called Lime Dye Bagels, and I'll put a link to the review in my description box. But yeah, it wasn't until I read that review, a bit of context, Lime Dye Bagels review, reviews a lot of um, like classic albums, and I've, I've, I've read quite a few of them, and I'm, I'm big into his opinion, I think he's got a good taste in music. So then when I saw that he'd given this Trilogy de Mort's record, say, like a 9 or a 9 out of 10, or an, I think he calls it an A... When I'd seen that, I was just kind of like, oh, well, if he's into it, maybe I should give it another go. And, and yeah, I did. And I'm kind of glad that I did because, well, now I really like it. Um, I really like this three hour long drone, bloody drone album. So yeah, whether that's just some kind of um, sadistic self-torture and I just enjoy listening to, to horrible music or, or if it does speak more to the, to the quality and the, the listenability of Ilian Radig's album here. Music like this, where things things take a long time to happen and, and, and sections are drawn out longer, I think it means that our ears, they're more sensitive to change when it does occur. And there's plenty of moments in these in these three drone pieces where like there's a subtle shift, uh, like the bass frequencies, for example, suddenly 
get brought in or they get taken away. And your ears are just so attuned to any little detail that changes that I find, um, yeah, they're just all the more powerful when these, these bass frequencies do get brought in. There's, there's a particularly lovely, well, lovely um, is, a, is a word that might not be, be fully descriptive of it, but there's a moment in the, in the third piece, Kume, about 10 minutes in when Cerulean Radig's been playing with this, this more high, oh, it's not high, it's like mid-range uh, drone, and then she brings in this bass frequency very slowly, you might not even notice it at first, but then when it comes in, everything else starts to strip away until you're just left with this bass frequency, and it's, well, it's very sinister and very bleak sounding. But it's also, it, it, the music doesn't bring me down, it's, it's, it's majestic, I think. It's majestic and, and also hypnotic, almost like a, like, some, <laughs> like a lava lamp or something. It's like kind of, um, I can imagine watching the planets orbiting very slowly while I'm listening to this music. It has this kind of majestic, cosmic grandioseness to it, um, especially this movement, uh, this moment here in Kume, when the, yeah, around 10 minutes when the bass gets brought in. Um, it's, it's funny, um, it, talking about this music it, as being a bit like a lava lamp, I, I did actually go through a phase where I would um, actually go to sleep to this record. Um, I'd have it obviously in my in my ears. Um, <laughs> and hear me out here, I'm not crazy. Well, well let, you, you be the judge of that. But um, yeah, I used to actually find this album quite relaxing and, and something about the tones and the, and the drones and the sounds of this record and how they, they morph between between each other in such a in such a like slow moving relaxed languid kind of way something about that just relaxed me and it helped me um kind of dispel thoughts in my head helped me just relax before bed um so yeah take that for what you will but i will say that yeah after a few listens you do start to notice the the subtleties of this album and the and its beauties as well like it is not a lot of albums do sound like this one um so it's very unique in that regard and i think yeah, given time, the sounds will reveal themselves to be quite pleasant on the ears. Yeah, so those are my thoughts on Elian Radig's Trilogy de Mort. I've been listening to this album for a couple of years now, so I'm definitely, I definitely feel like I know, I know it better than I did, because I know on first listen, my first thought was just like, what is this? I just skipped through different points. I was like, this just doesn't change. It's just drones. What's the point? Um, but yeah, when you when you do give it a, cute, a few more listens and kind of spend some time with it, like doing other things, you don't have to just sit down and listen to it. Like I often do, um, some work to it. I'm just kind of like nice, nice little, nice little relaxing drone to kind of help me through. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Ilian Radig sets in motion one of the most expansive and satisfying ambient records I've listened to. And I, as a big fan of the genre, I'm, I'm always pleased when uh, I hear new boundary pushing records in its genre, in the genre of ambient music. And for that reason, this album does get a 9 out of 10 for me, and it's a strong 9 as well. Um, yeah, I'd recommend listening with headphones, maybe having some cool visuals to accompany your experience, and, and yeah, 9 out of 10, Ilan Radig, Trilogy de Mort. Yeah, see you in the next review. Bye-bye. <laughs>